The following is a production of New Mexico State University. Sally Wasowski shows us the native plants in her northern New Mexico garden. Sally, what is this you're looking at? This is the tall paintbrush. Uh -huh. It's looking really small right now because of the drought. But I love this because the hummingbirds love it so much. There's a short one for in the spring, and then this one comes up and it blooms midsummer on till the hummingbirds go south. And is this a semi-parasite like the other? It, it is, it is, and I think this one is probably parasitic on this chemise here. Okay, and I see you've got another plant here, the oh, the three-leaf sumac? The three-leaf sumac, right, or the aromatic sumac, because mm -hmm. I do like how the leaves smell. Mm. Okay. I know some people don't, but some I do. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> and um, this one, also, it has little yellow flowers, gets uh, red berries for the birds. Mm -hmm. This one is a little bit young yet. We bought it because we were buying the pinion and we chose the pinion that had this as a bonus. <laughs> Got a double plant. And the chamisa is really looking good here. Oh, I love this plant. This is so gorgeous. The yellow flowers. And have you ever looked at all the bugs on these? Oh, yes. It's I, just I mean, attractive. There's so to... many beetles. I just adore it. And then you've got roses. And the rose here. This is the little native woods rose. Mm -hmm. And um, it's really hard, I think, to grow from seed. So we finally just dug a little teeny bit off our friends out of a garden. Mm -hmm. And it has made quite a spread here. It likes to make a thicket. Mm -hmm. And that's ultimately what we wanted out here would be a whole thicket of roses. OK, I notice over here you've got globe mallow. And it's growing in just the perfect location where it gets water that runs off of the patio. And your courtyard garden has a lot of plants, too. Oh, let me show you. Ooh, I see a lot of plants in here. So you do have a lot more here in the courtyard. Yes, I do. Uh, I'm really trying to get all my stuff started here so then I can scatter the seed out into the wild areas. OK, and this is a lot drier site here, but it still has a lot of plants. Yes, this has sun most of the day. And as you say, it is very dry. And so the plants here, you can see, are a lot shorter. There's a lot more space between the plants, a lot more uh, desert pavement with all this rock. Mm -hmm. Whereas on the other side, there Whereas are a lot on of plants. the other it's side, lush. because this is where when we do get snow, it really mounds up uh -huh. and we get more moisture in here. And also, you can see there's a canali up there. Okay, so and you're so this is a much damper part of the garden. And I can put more ponderosa or even a, um, plants that grow by the streams here in a very dry climate otherwise. Okay, and let's go see some other native plants. Let's go. We're back in the natural environment here. This chamisa is beautiful, even out here. Isn't it doing great? And this, oh, this beautiful yellow flower. What is this? This is uh, called goldeneye. And you can see why it chose to be here. Look at the canali up there. A little bit of extra runoff. But of course, with having no rain, we had no runoff. And it was just before this rain last week. It was only half this height and literally drooping. Wow. And, and it so just made that quick a comeback. A little bit of rain, and it's exploded. A beautiful Isn't that great? presentation. Oh, it's so beautiful here. Thank you for a tour of your wildflower garden. Thank you so much. I hope you come back. Mm -hmm. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.